Calling all of Laker Nation, I've got a challenge for you, and it takes just three easy steps. We want you to join the Nodi gang so you don't miss a single thing, and here's how it works. You hit the subscribe button. Next step, you click that notification bell, and make sure you select all, because that way you won't miss a single thing. Now, there are already 5,600 subscribers that have all of their notifications selected for the Lakers report. Can we get to 5,650? I believe we can. We've got a lot to talk about on the Lakers report. We do it next. Welcome in to this edition of the Lakers Report. Fired up to be with you. My name is Jake Rima, the host of the Lakers Report. And on today's show, we've got a lot to get to. Comparing Jalen Hood Shafino to Jaime Jaquez Jr. Yes, they went just one pick away from one another in last year's NBA draft. But it is a world of difference as far as the production on the court goes. And unfortunately for the Lakers nation, it is not in favor of Los Angeles. We've also got a news update for you and a pretty important player mispractice today. We'll tell you all about our Lakers news update, so stick around for that as it relates to the latest injury update surrounding the purple and gold. But right now, some rookie woes are being felt by Jalen hood Shafino the 17th overall pick out of Indiana, who had all the makings of a promising prospect coming out of Indiana. After all, that is the capital of the basketball world, the Hoosier State. But when the Lakers drafted him with that 17th overall pick, the expectations were relatively high. However, right now, Jalen hood Shafino finds himself playing for the South Bay Lakers in the G League as opposed to the Los Angeles Lakers in the National Basketball Association. Now, that said, his last time out for the South Bay Lakers, 29 points, 10 rebounds, and that was back on February 25th. So at least the ball bouncing in the right direction for Jalen hood Shafino in the G League, but can he take that, harness it up, and transcend it to the next level at the NBA level? The Lakers and Darvin Ham and the rest of the organization certainly hoping so. So I think you don't want to go around tossing that B word already. And no, I'm not talking about that one. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about a bust, that B word. And I don't think Jalen Hood Shafino has had enough of a sample size to be declared a bust yet. But that said, you're hoping to see a little bit more from the rookie down the stretch of the regular season, get back with the big league club, and maybe carry some momentum moving forward so that you're not having to look at other players that were drafted in the first round, even after him, and seeing their production and le left scratching your head wondering what the heck happened. So I want you to be honest with me on this one because we always insist on honesty on the Lakers report. What is your confidence level in Jalen hood Shafino? Scale it for me, 1 through 10. And when I say confidence level, confidence that he can get back to the NBA level and start making meaningful contributions on the court. Because right now, I'm at about a 5. And it only gets worse when you look at who was selected in the 2023 NBA draft. Just one pick after him. That's right. Jaime Hawkes Jr. out of UCLA. What a breakout season he's having in Miami for the Heat. And part of that Heat culture already. Look at the numbers. 13 points, averaging double figures, nearly four boards a game. And it seems to have just fit in so well with that Miami Heat team already and the efficiency numbers there shooting nearly 50% from the floor. And you look at a guy like Jaime Jaquez Jr., he's going to be a top candidate for Rookie of the Year. Now, obviously, with how deep this past draft class was, guys like Victor Wimbignana and that sort of thing, he's probably not going to bring that home. But for a guy that went 18th overall in I don't know if you can necessarily call it a late first round pick, but certainly closer to a late first round pick than an early lottery pick. He certainly had his presence felt on the court in Miami, and he was a guy that had a multiple year career at UCLA under Mick Cronin, played really well, and was the type of player that you saw the proof at the college ranks, and you thought maybe he has the ability 
to transcend those abilities to the next level at the NBA level. And it leaves me wondering, why didn't Rob Polinka, why didn't the Lakers' breath, the front office, also see what the Miami Heat saw in Jaime Jaquez? Because I think you could look at him and say, wow, he would make such a difference for the Los Angeles Lakers. And as we start to work through what this looks like for the purple and gold, you just continue to scratch your head. Did the Lakers make a huge mistake? And coming up, we're going to dive even more into that question. But first, I want to tell you about America's number one meal delivery service. A sincere salute to Factor, today's presenting sponsor. And let me tell you, folks, Factors, delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day that much easy because those delicious meals are delivered straight to your door. So wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals. And that's right. I'm going to say it again because this is the moneymaker, folks. They're delivered right to your door. So you'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from. And that includes options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and oh, so much more. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. The pesto pork chop is to die for. Don't forget about that sun-dried tomato chicken. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. And probably my favorite part, and maybe this makes me lazy, I don't know, but I hate doing dishes. And with Factor, there are no dishes. The cleanup is that easy. So don't take my word for it. Head to factormeals.com slash LakersChat50 and use code LakersChat. 50 to get 50% off. That's half off, folks. That's code LakersChat50 at Factormeals.com slash LakersChat50 for 50% off. Now, Jaime Hawkins Jr., it's easy to be on his bandwagon because, <laughs> let's face it, he's been a wagon. He's done a lot of really good things for the Miami Heat. And going 18th overall when the Lakers were drafting 17th last year is just so painful, especially when you stack those two players up against one another and Jalen hood Shafino and Jaime Hawkins Jr., the numbers, any way you slice it, is just ridiculous. Jaime averaging double figures. Jalen hood Shafino just has not found his rhythm offensively, defensively, in any way you slice it, whereas Jaime Jaquez Jr. seems to be a very pivotal piece to the success of the Miami Heat. And Jalen hood Shafino, I said it earlier, not quite ready to use that B word in terms of a bust, but obviously we are heading in that direction unless something drastically changes. So... You got to be honest with me, Laker Nation, and let me know was passing on Jaime Hawkins Jr. a huge, monumental mistake when you look at this Lakers team. Let me know down in the comments, real simple, yes or no. Either way, let your voice be heard. Now, it is still early, but <laughs> Jaime Hawkins Jr. would have looked nice in that Lakers purple and gold and would have helped a team that at times has struggled, struggled with things like perimeter shooting. You saw the numbers earlier. He shoots it well from beyond the arc. He's able to create and does a lot of things well offensively. And you think of the hypothetical possibility of pairing a guy like Jaime Hawkins Jr. with LeBron James, with AD, D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, and I really, ah, I just thinking about it makes me a little bit sad, mad, upset, all the different emotions. But we can't cry over spilled milk. Spilled milk. This is the team the Lakers have. Now, let's get into the team the Lakers have and start with some Lakers injury news from Anthony Davis. That's right. Not to panic, but this is the latest from Mike Trudell, the reporter for the Los Angeles Lakers. You see in his Twitter handle, or X handle, I should say, Lakers reporter, Anthony Davis didn't practice today due to an upper respiratory illness. Now, there's a lot going around, but we certainly hope Anthony Davis will be better and improve because anytime you've got a perennial all-star sitting out practice when your team's in a very important stretch in trying to muster up some wins and stockpile some wins, it certainly is painful for the Los Angeles Lakers. And especially when you consider how well he's been playing as of late. He had the 22 points in 42 minutes against the Suns on Sunday, albeit in a losing effort. The Lakers certainly cannot afford to lose Anthony Davis due to any kind of illness. So let's hope 
He is back and better than ever. And to help him come back healthy, you got to wish him well. So go ahead and type AD in the comments to wish Anthony Davis a speedy recovery because AD, we need you back, brother. We need you back playing for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, a couple other injury updates to get to. How about Cam Reddish? We haven't talked about him in a while. He practiced today, and he'll warm up tomorrow night ahead of the game against the Clippers. And from there, we'll get a status update afterwards. That's from Mike Trudell as well. And you look at a guy like Cam Reddish, and in 35 games this season, he hasn't necessarily stuffed the stat sheet, but it's one more contributor that this Lakers team could certainly use especially as it relates to his efficiency from the floor, shooting 40%. And again, not a guy that's going to wow you necessarily, but one more piece that is adding to the depth of a team with like the Los Angeles Lakers that certainly struggles in that aspect. And he hasn't played since January 23rd, so getting Cam Reddish back may be a boost for this team late in the season as they attempt to to make that stretch run and enter into the playoffs and get out of that play-in position. Time is dwindling for that as we make our way down the stretch. Now, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and we challenge you at the beginning of the video to take three easy steps to join the Nodi gang. Hit that subscribe button, select that bell, and oh yeah, you want all the notifications so you don't miss a thing here on the Lakers Report. And join me in saluting our producer today, Big Tex, the one and only. Couldn't do the Lakers Report without him. Thanks so much for helping make today's show possible. And thank you for tuning in. As always, it's always a pleasure to bring you the latest from the purple and gold. And we'll see you next time on the Lakers Report.